In this video, we are unboxing and setting up a brand new A5 planner from Webster's Pages and an accessory kit as well. And we're gonna play with some of these goodies. Thank you so much to Webster's Pages for providing these goodies for us to play with. They also are giving you a coupon code to use on the website. All the details will be in the description box. Hello, I'm Katie. Welcome to the Planner Channel. Subscribe to the Planner Channel to watch new videos every week about planning and productivity. First up, we are going to unbox this A5 planner from Webster's Pages. It is the Blush and Gold A5 planner kit. It's one of their Color Crush Collection planners, along with this Color Crush Planner and Stationery Accents Kit from Webster's Pages. After we get the planner all set up, then we're gonna try out some of these goodies right in the planner. First of all, it comes in this super nice gift box with a protective sheet over it. So pretty. Hello, welcome to Webster's Pages. Look how cute. It has like a gold foil and white polka dot with the little tab, it says a good life. Look at that little button on there, that's pretty fancy. Okay, let's check it out. So one of the main things that you need to know about an A5 size planner is that it is slightly bigger than a half letter size, and an A4 planner is slightly bigger than a full letter size sheet of paper. When you have an A5 size planner, it has these three rings at the top and these three rings here, and so many things are interchangeable with this style of planner. Of course, any ring or disc bound planner is super customizable because you can take your pages in and out. And then also with this layout, an A5 layout with the three rings here and here, there are lots of brands that make great inserts and kits for this style of planner. So let's start in the front. It has four pockets here for cards, one window pocket for the cards. I think the ones in the kit will fit, so we'll add one in there as when we get to the extras. It has this super nice vegan leather pockets here and here in the front. Let's flip to the back. Pockets here and here in the back. This one has two pen loops, that's cool. So you can either put one pen through both loops or you could probably fit two pens in here. Okay, so it comes with a super nice shiny gold bookmark and a quote from Albert Einstein, creativity is intelligence having fun. Ooh, I like that. That's a great quote. Let's get into it. So the tabs in this planner are all this pretty light blush pink. This one has like your information page and these are blank so you can title them however you want. The front has some notebook paper. The next section has an undated weekly planner. Oh, neat, it has space for, it says sketches up there. So you can put anything you want. Let's look at this up close. This says a week in the life. So it kind of already has your little decor there, I like that. And this says week of, okay. So that's like a journaling section. This next part has a, this is like a um, due date. This is like a project planner section. That's cool. And then it has an undated monthly overview, a shopping list. It has all kinds of stuff in it. Well, that's pretty. You are my sunshine. So it has a few decorative pages in here that you can place throughout. Add some stickers, write some notes to put in there. And then it has your months. Let's look at these. So it has a monthly overview, one for each month, undated though, so you can start anytime and rearrange them. Okay, let's go to the back. And then a whole bunch of weekly undated horizontal pages. Week planner, two page per week view. So all of that comes in the kit, like in the box with this planner. And let's try the rings. You just push the buttons to flip it open and snap them back together. So easy. Okay, let's unbox the goodies. So this is the Planner and Stationery Accents Kit. Let me get this open and come right back. Okay, 
Let me take off this clear cover and we'll see what's in the box. So there, these are two by two inch cards. They are note cards so you could write on the back or use them as die cuts to put directly in your planner. Two awesome, two striped, two polka dots. Look at that gold, wow. Super shiny gold, some pink polka dots, little kitty cat, um, bicycle, some roses, love, a grid with gold foil. This is my favorite, the pink roses. Another love with stripes. Then we have the three by four inch cards. We have a stripe, bicycles, another like lined one you can write some notes on, another little kitty cat, balloons, a grid, my favorite, the roses. Ooh, awesome together heart dreams come true and love now let's grab one to put in the traveler's notebook if you want to see the setup of this i will link it up in the cards let's grab this blush stripe card to put in here awesome i'm gonna save this one to put in the a5 Next up, we have some sticky notes. Oh, they have like, a, oh my gosh, look at that. It's like a little stand for your sticky notes. That's so cool. So there are some like horizontal ones with gold foil and then some like tabs, like tab flags. This one you can write notes on. Next up, we have some gold paper clips. These are cool. I like that matte gold. There are 10 of those. Next up, let's look at these. Are these die cuts, do they have sticky on them? Yes, these are adhesive die cuts. So they're kind of like super thick. I'm not sure that I would want these in my planner because they're so thick, you can see. But these are awesome for scrapbooking or when you're making like goal pages or memory keeping really good for that and there's just like a whole like bunch of different ones some flags some you can write on like this one that says date look at this little heart so many cute little die cuts in here let's just kind of look at them all oh it looks like there's some more of the squares also these are different these are have like a square corner <gasps> look at that look at these little hearts lots of cuteness in there Look at this one, perfect. Okay, the last two things I want to try directly in the planner, washi tape and a stamp. So let me grab my ink for the stamp and grab the planner. We're gonna put this note card in it and try out these two things. Okay, there are two things that I like to have when stamping, some VersaFine pigment ink and also a baby wipe. That's the best, easiest way for cleaning the ink off of your stamp. Okay, let's see what stamps are on here. Love, let's just try some out. So you can just get a little ink, make sure it's on all the letters. And let's try it out. Just gonna practice a little bit here. That's the best one. So you wanna move it around a little bit on your paper. Okay, let's try another one. That one turned out really good. Okay, let's try one more. So there's love, there's little arrow, notes. Here, let's look at the box. <laughs> the box shows all the different stamps right here. Yes, no, maybe, done, done, and done, date and time, happy mail, notes, arrow, love, true story, and then a few banners and a checklist banner all on your stamp right here. So let's just scroll through. Let, let's do that little heart checklist. I like that. Make sure you get ink on the whole thing. Love it. 
one more for Happy Mail. <laughs> Look how cute! Happy Mail. Next up, let's open and try out this washi tape. Okay, let's try out this rose pattern washi. It's super pretty. I love roses. And we'll try this thin teal washi. Oh, that's really pretty on the white paper. That's so pretty. Leave a comment down below and tell me how you're using your A5 planner. Do you use it as a daily planner? Do you use it as a journal or for memory keeping or for something else? Leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, hit that thumbs up button, click the link in the description box to get your free power plan checklist, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.